Alright, it's time to make Pop OS great again. So let's go into the Pop Shop, go to Twix, install it. Once you've installed Twix, come out of it and go into Firefox, install the extension at the top banner here. After you've done it, go to the top right, you can see the black foot or feet. Press on it. And then delete the previous tab. Now go into the search and type in logo menu. Go into logo menu, click on the toggle to turn it on and install it. Once you've done installing it, go into genome look and download the required packages before we start. So just follow along. Now open your file explorer, go into downloads and I'm going to do is optional. I'm going to categorize the folders before we start. Alright, so I'm going to move all this into the folders before I start so that I know which one is for which. This is optional for you. Right here. Alright, so I'm done. Now, let's begin. So I'm going to go home and then go into these three lines and click on show hidden files then you create new folder type in dot icons and create another new folder dot teams all right so we are done now let's open a new file explorer then inside here go to downloads and now let's go into the folder that I've created let's open this okay, on the other side open the dot teams and move this into dot teams so you just drag and drop so if it doesn't go in just do it again right so now let's go back let's go back to downloads and now we go into icons go inside then here we go to dot icons then you go inside this file and shift and click this tool to select both and drag it in if it doesn't work just drag it in again for it to go in 
Alright, so let's wait. Now it's done. Let's go for the second one. And again, we just drag it in. Alright, so we are done. Let's close it. Close all of this. Go into start menu. Type in tweaks. Go into appearance and just select MacmoJF on cursor. Icons, you choose Big Sur black then on the legacy application change it to white sir duck then go into window title bars and change the placement to left go in the start menu you can see the icons has changed now you go into extensions in the extensions Go to the logo menu settings and you can choose the Apple logo. So now you can see the top left, the Apple logo. Now you can customize it either big or small up to you. Now go into the settings. Go into the desktop options and disable the show workspace and application button. So now the top left has only the Apple logo, just like Apple. Now go in the terminal and type in this code to install Plank. So don't worry, it's very simple. Just put in your password for administration and click Y, and choose Y, and type Y, then you just enter. Now, I can't install it from the store because it is unstable from the store. So we have to install it from the terminal. So now, let's close it. Let's go to settings, go to the desktop dock, and disable the dock so now you can't see the bottom here now you go to plank and open it in start menu and you can see the new dock is here now let's customize it go to the side of the dock just beside the icon until you can see the preferences so sometimes the normal right click doesn't work you need to press it and hold so now you can choose your position, your size, your icon zoom so that it looks like Apple. Then the behavior interledge height, we leave it on. Alright, so everything looks like it. So now let's customize it more. We go and delete from the dock. Alright, so now it looks like Apple. Now let's go in Firefox and see how it looks like. Look at that. This is how intelligent, intelligent dog should work. Now everything looks like Apple now. You just keep Firefox on a dock. And yeah, that's all. So now we are going to do is we're going to make it more like Apple. We have to go into the file explorer and open another file explorer also keep in the dock right now go into your home go into dot local share plank find for plank and then go to your teams and now on the other side, just go to the plank, open it, 
and drag it in. So after you're done, go to the pictures and create a folder if you want. I'll just name it uh, lines and go inside the lines, open this again and move the plank separators inside here. Now I can close it and go into the plank separators, open the horizontal and just drag that picture into the dock. And now you have it. A look-alike macOS dock. So now we have to go in again to the preferences of the dock. Go into the preferences. Now you go into the team selection and you choose macOS BS. And you can see it's here. It looks like macOS now. So now we are going to make it now we're going to make it more like macOS by changing the background. So I'm going to use the macOS default background to make it my own. And before we forget, we need to add in the trash icon. So just go into Docklets and click the trash, drag it in and you're done. So you have a trash inside. Now it looks like Mac OS. Before we forget, we need to add this into the startup apps. So you just go into Tweaks. Inside Tweaks, go to Startup Applications, add it, and you just search for planks and add it. Remember to like, subscribe, and share! Below is my previous videos, to the center is my other videos, and to the side of it is my playlist of my previous and future videos that is to come. <laughs> so check that out, and thank you all for watching. Famous Cyber Ramers signing out. <laughs>